today is Saturday, March 21st, and it's right around 9 a.m. So Ginger and I just wanted to come in and say hi to everyone. Um, I know this is a really hard time right now, very scary and unpredictable time. Um, I know it, it's just so hard to comprehend what's going on. Um, so I've really, it, I've really been trying not to watch the news too much, but of course watch enough to stay informed. Um, I'm now working from home. My kids are home. Um, Bradley's college has canceled classes for the rest of, well, they're doing online classes the rest of the semester. And um, the only one still working out of the house is Jake. He actually works at a grocery store, but he only works like one day a week and he didn't work this week. So, and my husband, he's been going into work, but he doesn't work around a lot of people. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hi and show you some of my um, Nashville stash that I got. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of stitching because I'm sure like many of you, I'm, I'm having a real hard time concentrating. Um, but I've been trying, I've been trying to find some of that quiet time and put a few stitches in and listen to an audiobook and just kind of escape for a little bit. Um, so, let me get my little calendar. I have been trying to keep up with my calendar. Um, so I worked on Liberty's Welcome quite a bit after I did my last video. I'm throwing things. Um, and this is by Plum Street Samplers. Here, Ginger. Get up there. Get in your bed. <laughs> um, so it's this pretty patriotic sampler. I got both sides of the border finished and then I started the house a little bit and then started filling in the grass on the bottom. So that was some good mindless stitching right there, doing that grass. Um, And this I'm using all the called for, all the called for MPI silks and 36 count Ligonier Latte by r and &R. So I worked on that and then um, I decided to start something new and I had this kitted so it was all ready to go adjust so you can see Ginger. <laughs> Look at her. She's so sweet. I swear, I don't know what I would do without her right now. She is such a comfort to me. Um, so I decided to start la -di da Me and You. And this is just a really sweet, um, simple sampler. Not very big. And I'm just using DMC, called for DMC. And this is a 40 count lakeside linen. I'm not sure what it is. It looks kind of like pecan butter. It's really pretty. So speaking of Jake, he got his license. Yay. <laughs> um, so and then right after he got his license, I'm like, okay, let's go. We got to get the oil changed. So I, we did a little car maintenance so we could see what it's like. And uh, then we cleaned out the car and got it washed and everything. So I, I did a lot of this while waiting. And then here are the DMC. They're so pretty. And I get asked a lot about these thread drops. If you Google search access commodities, 
thread drops, you will find a list of places that carry them. So my LNS Fire Poppies has them, but they may be out of them right now. Um, last I checked, one, two, three stitch was out of them, but I think Fat Quarter Shop had some. So, so pretty. I love that. That's a good little quick stitch. It's only 90 by 110. And that's Lottie Da, Me and You. And I first saw this on Carolyn's video, Stash Sisters. And she did a silk conversion. Um, but I just went with the DMC. So I worked on that. And then I got my market stash. So last weekend, I think I went to my LNS like three times because I like everyone else, you're just kind of in panic mode, like, oh, I gotta get this, I gotta get this, and I was not hoarding toilet paper, but I may have been hoarding some stash. So, I went up and I got my market order. I couldn't go to market night because it was Thursday, and I had like a little inner ear thing going on, and vertigo and stuff, so I wasn't gonna drive. But I, I got uh, Consider the Lilies, and it's so pretty. I love the house. I love the tree, the Adam and Eve. The, there's just so many elements that's so pretty. So I found this linen there and it's, I'd never heard of the designer before. It's Seraphim hand dyed fabrics. And I thought it was so pretty. It's it's really hard to describe. It's a, like a dusty, it's called Dusty Road. So it's kind of like a taupe. Um, it's like a grayish, it's almost like a grayish. It's really, really pretty. So um, I decided to use this. And I think it's gonna be really pretty. And Fire Poppies actually has some on pre-order. And this is 40 count if you want to place an order. Um, for, for some of this. So I showed it on Instagram and she's like, yeah, we sold out and now we have to order more. I'm like, I'm so sorry. But it's good, it's good. Keep our small businesses going, right? And then here are all the threads. I'm just using all the called for threads. And just a tiny start. But it's so pretty. Love it. And then I, um, I got this. My heart can rest. I love this sampler. It's so pretty. I'll take it out of the bag. By Blackbird Designs. This is the actually the only Blackbird chart I got. So I plan to get, um, I want to get the sewing one eventually. I just love it. And there's the reproduction. It's so sweet. So I pulled out the threads. And then I'm trying to decide on 36 count legacy. So it calls for Heartland. 36 count legacy or 40 count sand. So I keep going back and forth. I think they're both really pretty. I'm kind of leaning towards the legacy, I think. We'll see. And And then I got Manor at Quaker Hill, not Quaker at Manor Hill, which is what I always want to call it. And with this, I think I'm going to use the 40 count legacy. I was going back and forth on 36, 40. I think it looked really pretty on that. Then I got 
Scarlet House, Jane Cowie, 1850. I love this. I love those colors, the pinks, the reds, the butterflies, those funky birds. It's so pretty. And I started collecting some of the threads I made. Um, and I have a couple more on order. So, love that. And I also got Rachel Long. Sorry for glare. I should take this out. I love the sampler. The house, the border, the little baskets, the urn. It's really pretty. And this calls for a lot of silks. And a lot of them I didn't have. So what I did was I pulled all the DMC, because there's a DMC conversion, and I matched them up to silks I have in my stash. So I think I'm going to, because dye lots change so much that one silk that's called for may not even be the right color. So I have one more on order that I really couldn't match up, and that's um, Sister Scarlet. Because Sister Scarlet, their dye lot has changed a lot. It used to be more of um, a red with a little pink in it. Now it's more pink. So that's what this house is and everything. So, but pretty, pretty. So Ginger, she lays on her back to clean herself. It's the funniest thing. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> So someone sent me a picture of their cat laying on their back when Ginger was doing that last time. It was so funny. So and this is the other Brenda Gervais I got. I think these are so sweet. I love these sweet little pillows. And I already have this in my stash. So, um, I think that's everything. Um, I never did hear from Betty Price for the giveaway. So, oh, and I've got the Heartland here. I should see how that sampler looks on the Heartland. Or the threads. See, I think that would be really pretty. So I may have to get some more Heartland. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw again for this. Hold on one second. Okay, so I've got it in here again. Um, I hit start. And the winner is, it says GDR Ron, R-A-H-N. And they said, love seeing your projects, can't wait for new market releases, especially, I especially love Blackbird designs. So get in touch with me. My email address is below um, and let me know your address and I'll get this mailed out, okay? Um, oh, I also got a couple other, where did I put it? So I did get the winner's brew, the 40 count winner's brew and I was actually just gonna go with that um, for Consider the Lilies. It's, it looks like it's a natural linen that's been dyed with coffee. So I have a little tiny little start, but I thought it just got a little lost. Like that flower was getting a little lost. Um, you know, I can't just start something once, right? So for me, I liked how this looked compared to that. So that's why I decided to go with the dusty road. And um, I might find something else. God, my hair. <laughs> I might find something else for this. And then I wanted to try the 37 count legacy linen. So I got a couple, and I actually just did a little stitching just to see. So this is the Russian tea cake. 
and it's really just kind of like a cream. And this is the corn tassel. And fire poppies only has like a fat eighth left. They don't have a lot of this left, but she may be able to order it for you. Uh, the corn tassel, the brush and tea cakes, she had quite a bit left. So those are those. And I think this I just did with DMC and it's, it's the coverage isn't like, it's nice, but I think these would probably be better with silk. So, um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, oh, I did a little knitting. So knitting is kind of like, for me, a little bit more mindless. Don't have to think so much. Um, so I got this little throw back out. And it was a, a baby blanket and I made it a little bit bigger. So it's more like a lap blanket. And this, I'm just using the Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in the three different colors. And I actually, um, the pattern I'm using, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I have fuzz in my nose. Ginger, what are you doing? Alright, so the pattern I'm using is Chevron Baby Blanket, it's hard to tell, by Space Trico. They're in Montreal, so they're, I think they're French. English and French. So anyway, the one I really liked, let me go back. So I'm kind of copying her. That's what it's going to look like. So this was fun to get out and work on a little bit. Um, I ended up ripping out my other exploration station. <laughs> She's so silly. Ginger, what are you doing? Um, and so I'm trying to think, I really would like to have a nice big shawl to work on. So I'm looking at patterns and colors and trying to figure out what I want to do. All right, so I think that's it. This is just a quick video, just showing you what I'm up to. Just wanted to say hi. Um, stay safe out there, everyone. Take care of yourself, not just physically, but uh, mentally also, because this is a really hard time right now. Um, I know it might be hard to concentrate on stitching, but even if you can just take a few minutes out of your day just to you know, get away from it all for a few minutes all we can do so I will hopefully do another video in a week or two probably a couple weeks and I will talk to you later bye